Hello all, Project Wargaming here with a update on how my 2mm Napoleonic troops are going. So I think I have a really good uh, base army to work from here. So I have 12 core or 12 uh, brigades of French line. And then I have uh, five different uh, cavalry units. And then I have a ton of uh, artillery units. So probably don't need to paint up any artillery units for a little while. Um, but I think I also have enough uh, line infantry uh, to do most battles. And so from here on out, I think I can just kind of fill in with more um, cavalry units and then also some guard units. Try to get some of those uh, painted up to do that. So um, I think some of you have uh, seen this before, uh, seen what we were doing, but um, basically put these on 80 by 80 millimeter um, bases. The back has a magnet on it. And then these are the Elan strips that are used in the rules for a blucher. And so those are magnetic. So they stick on there. And then um, I also have various tokens that uh, denote the characteristics that a unit can have. Um, so yeah, very, very happy with uh, how these guys looked. I always dread painting cavalry, but the cavalry actually uh, painted up really fast and um, were actually pretty fun to paint up. Uh, so very colorful, obviously Napoleonics. That's kind of how it always is. Um, but uh, this period has actually turned out to be a lot of fun. If you've if you listen to the podcast uh, chat that I had with uh, um, Sean at God's Own Scale, I never wanted to get into Napoleonics, but I did because a friend wanted to do, uh, he wanted to play Blucher, and I thought, well, let's let's try a Napoleonics at two millimeter. So, um, so it's been fun. It's been uh, very enjoyable to do so. And so really happy with how these guys have turned out. Um, the, uh, the troops, I, I tried to model the uh, infantry bases with some, uh, voltageurs in the front. I'm sure I butchered that. Um, but they're skirmishers. And then I kind of thought about this each brigade. These are basically brigades. So they're supposed to have, um, two battalions in each. And I believe a French battalion typically had, um, uh, six companies in it. So, uh, this might look like one company. Uh, there's some, you can play it at a smaller scale, but it actually is, uh, in my mind, representing, um, two battalions, uh, artillery pieces back there. Um, I think I forget how many they had on each base, but I was able to get quite a few, um, just to make it look like an actual nice size uh, battery in in there. And then the uh, uh, cavalry units, they uh, they have four. Um, well, I really don't know. I have I have very little knowledge of Napoleonic stuff. But uh, um, anyways, this is kind of based off of what the cards look like when you get uh, for Blucher. So. A pretty high level abstract game, but uh, anyways, it's a lot of fun. So uh, that's, I just wanted to show that off. So very happy that uh, I've gotten these guys together. And uh, now it is back to full-time prep for um, Historicon. So that's it. We will talk to you later.